Hey y'all, Shelby here from Scarlet Sky Designs. Today, I'm gonna do a quick out of the box video with you all about our honey pot backer board. When you receive this backer board, you'll notice that it comes in its original cutout form. We do this to make sure that everything stays safe and protected during shipping. When you first receive this board, you'll go ahead on and take it out of the packaging and then turn it over. You'll see that everything's been taped down to hold it in its place. The first thing you'll wanna do is go ahead on and remove all of the tape. So you can just use your fingernail or one of the Cricut tools or one of those metal spatulas and go ahead on and start pulling up the tape. You'll see that the tape starts to come off quite easily once you get going. So you'll just keep removing those items and setting everything over to the side. So we'll go ahead on and keep pulling these last couple of pieces. There we go. Looks like we've got one more piece that's just holding on. Let me go ahead on and get this last one. There we go. Now, this piece right here, you might wanna go ahead on and hang on to it. If you guys have watched my videos before, you know I like to keep this piece so that I can test out my paints on it and see how it's gonna look on the wood. So I'm gonna go ahead on and just set this to the side and I'll pick it back up later when I do our video over painting this piece. So you'll see that for this piece, it comes in two different options. We have our honey pot backer with the backer on its own, or you have the option with the honey pot backer and the bees as well. Now for the uh, original that I showed that I painted, I did have one of our bees on there, just kind of holding on to the side over here. Let me put it together. It had our little bit of honey right there and the bee just sitting on the side. So I use that one. Now, obviously I just use one bee, so you guys can use these bees in a uh, variety. There we go, gotta get that word out. In a variety of different ways. I know um, I'm stitching a ton of bee projects right now, so I'll be using our bees in a lot of different ways. So adding the bees to your uh, purchase is a great option. So. Like I said, you've got your bees. If you ordered that one, you've got your honey pot, your little bit of honey that's gonna add on here, and then you have your boards that help hold this piece up. I've been doing a lot of work on our boards lately, just you know, making changes, continuing to approve them, and I actually found that with this one, I ended up cutting two holes into these pieces. My original one, this was just a straight piece. There was no hole cut into it. And I started thinking about the potential for storage. And I thought that cutting an extra hole in this one might be a good option because then you wouldn't have to glue the whole piece on here and it would be a little bit easier for you all to store your pieces. I know not everyone keeps their pieces out all year long. So like I said, we just like to continually keep improving our pieces. And I thought that might be a great option. For those of you that have already ordered this board and maybe you got it with the original piece, I'm actually gonna be sending out these pieces to you guys later on this week, just as you know, um, an option for you all to use with your pieces. And I just wanted to make sure you guys also got those pieces to use with yours. So I'm gonna quickly show you how this piece would go together. First things first, you'd wanna paint this piece right here. Quite easy to paint. I'll actually be doing a tutorial video very soon showing you all how to paint this piece. So one of the things that you'll wanna do is make sure that you have some glue so that you can glue everything together and glue it down. I like to use the Gorilla Clear Grip. I think it's one of the best um, glues around in terms of holding a good bond on our pieces. You could also use an E6000. Um, there's some other options. So in our video where we go over gluing everything down and painting, I'll actually show you guys some of those different options. But I just wanted to show this to you quickly, just you got an idea of what I like to use when I'm working on our projects. So again, like we talked about, first things first, you would obviously paint your pieces. Ours actually come in a uh, different add-on sizes though that it's a little bit easier to paint. So that piece would just then glue right up here, right on that top spot. You could obviously use your bees wherever you wanted to. You could put them in different spots on the pot, depending on where you put your cross stitch piece. I actually put mine right up here, like it was on the honey. 
And then the main thing I wanted to show you guys was how to put the stands together. So for this one, what I would do is I would actually glue these two pieces together. Again, you can do whatever you'd like on this one, but I find it easiest if you would glue these two pieces together, right? And then when those two pieces are together, let me take that off since it's not fully on there. You actually just slide this right into there. Let me put it into that one first. Since they're not glued together, they're not holding the same. They would actually just slide in there together and then all just stands up on its own. Let me hold it so you guys can see what that would look like. And you can just slide it a little bit to fit it into its spots. Let me move that just a little bit to get it right in its spot. There we go, <laughs> without those two pieces glued together, it's a little bit harder to get it in there and holding correctly. So once those pieces were glued, it would just hold on right there. The good thing about having those two holes is like I said, you don't necessarily have to glue the main honey pot piece into this stand. So when you stored it, you could just pull this one off. Obviously those pieces would be stuck together and held together. And then you could just store it as two separate pieces. I just think that would be a little bit easier storing that way than this full piece on there and having to find something to put it into. Usually when things can lay flat, it makes it a little bit easier to store. So that's the basics here for our quick out of the box video. As always, if you guys have any questions or need any help putting your pieces together, please feel free to message me on Etsy or Instagram. And as always, you can also email me at scarletskydesigns at gmail.com. I just wanted to say a quick thank you to all of you for subscribing to our channel, following us, and just being so supportive and wonderful. We cannot thank you all enough. If you get a chance, just make sure that you become one of our subscribers so you're notified when we do new videos. We might even have something special coming out pretty soon. So just throwing that out there that you might want to start subscribing. Just saying. So I'm going to leave it at that. Again, thank you guys so much. As always, have a wonderful day, y'all.